people. How do I get their email address? How do I come at them in a low pressure manner? And how do I secure the relationship for the rest of our life? Very simple. And then once you have the email address, this is a real client. This is a real email address. This is everything about this is 110% real. Today I'm going to show you how I've developed an email database of over 5,000 property owners in my market and I've taken that database and for the last two years I've made over a million dollars a year as a single agent. What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. This is a real estate coaching channel. All the real estate coaching here is absolutely 100% free. There's a link in the description at zero2diamond.com. The entire goal with Zero to Diamond is to help you crush your market the way that I've crushed my market in hopes that we can reduce the failure rate in the industry and move the industry in a direction of agents who understand relationships over transactions and that we don't have to be high pressure we don't have to create awkward situations to create sales and to, and to create momentum and to build our business and to have transactions and closings. We can do this in a low pressure way. We can actually be friendly, help people. You know, when you have the right intent to actually help people, so many good things come. And I think the biggest hang up is people want business right now and they don't understand that actually being low pressure and helpful is the quickest way to a deal. So let's get into how I've actually created this huge database of property owners, email addresses in my market. And it's a really interesting story and I'm going to share exactly how I did it with you. First, I want you to understand why I want the email addresses. Okay. There's many, many reasons. Um, the first reason is I like to do a weekly email. I've been doing a weekly email every single Wednesday since 2007. And that email, the consistency of it shows them how hardworking I am, how professional, how knowledgeable, how active I am in the market. And it just kind of does all the heavy lifting for me to build that relationship deeper and deeper and deeper uh, over across a huge volume of clients. Okay, I can't call 5,000 people back and see how they're doing and check on them and all that. You cannot call that many past clients back, but you can send them a weekly email every single week on the same day of the week forever and show them through that how much you care, how much, how hard you're working and all that good stuff. So I also develop the email every week. I think that's a big, big key to my success because it's not just your generic automation, uh, you know, uh, a CRM that's just sending out this email that is not necessarily exactly what the client wants to see. The client wants to see a real data in real time and they want to see a little bit of you. They want to see a little bit of personality in the email and that's what's going to separate your email from all the other agents. Okay, so it's a big, big key to my success. And if you want to do an email like mine, there's a link in the description there. You can get started with Constant Contact. Uh, they'll reach out to you. Just tell them you want a template exactly like Ricky's and they will create it for you. Then you can just plug all your stuff in there and go. It's really simple. So the way that I get these emails is not easy. It takes a lot of work, but it is so worth it because once you get the email, it's the highest quality email that you could possibly have. So the way that I get email addresses of property owners in my area is by cold calling them. Now I know that's like a bad word and everybody hates that and you know, it doesn't sound very fun. And, but the truth is, it is a lot of fun. If you go back, I have several videos on this channel of me making live calls. And I'm going to do lots more live call sessions in the future. So if you haven't subscribed, now would be a good time. But cold calling is something that everybody's scared of. But I'm telling you right now that it's the only way to exponentially, very fast, grow your business. Uh, there's no other way in my mind that you can grow at such a speed, okay, because this is a people business, this is a quality business, this is a voice-to-voice -voice business. The reason why technology has not replaced real estate agents up to this point is because they cannot replace the voice-to-voice -voice interaction that needs to happen, the consultation between the client and the agent. Um, every market's different. I can't go 
to a market an hour or two away and, and go there and, and know what I'm talking about, talk to clients, you know, and educate them on subdivisions and price per square foot and all that stuff. It would be foreign to me. It would be like a whole different language to me, even though I'm a specialist in my market. Okay, this dynamic of the local markets being so different adds so much value to the real estate agent. You need a local expert to consult you through the transaction. And a lot of times these transactions are the biggest transaction of someone's life. And they don't need to do it themselves. They need to hand it over to a professional and get some help through this transaction. So cold calling, voice to voice, creating lifelong relationships is key period. So if you do this correctly and you do it with a low pressure approach like I do in my phone scripts and through that I'm teaching my coaching students at zerototiamond.com, what happens is a very special thing, right? Most agents live off less than 1% of prospects they talk to that's ready to do a deal today the first time they talk to them. Okay. But what I find far more interesting than the less than 1% is the 20 to 30%. Okay, you got less than 1% or you have 20 to 30% of people you talk to who actually like you enough to do a deal, they're just not ready yet. Okay, if you can capture that 20 to 30% of people for the future when they decide they're ready to buy or sell something, look at where your business is gonna be in the next six months to a year, two, three, four, five, ten 10 years. It's gonna be enormous, and that's what I've developed. Okay, I'm 16 years in the business, okay, and after about eight years, I lost everything, and I realized relationships over transactions. And that's when I flipped my entire strategy from trying to do deals to actually just trying to build relationships with people. And what happened is, an incredible thing, I started closing more deals immediately. Okay, this is how you get now business. So what do I do when I call these people? How do I get their email address? How do I come at them in a low pressure manner? And how do I secure the relationship for the rest of our life? Very simple, okay? You can go back and watch any of my cold calling videos. You can watch my, my videos on my scripts and I go into detail about my scripts, what I say, how I say it, the tone, the, the speed, all that good stuff. But basically, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna see how they're doing. I'm gonna see if they're enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous outside? I'm gonna tell them I don't wanna take up too much of their time today, but a house around the corner just sold, didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for them today. Okay, when they tell me no, that no is what I turn into an email address. That no is where most agents kind of either say, okay, do you know anybody that might wanna buy or sell since you don't, which is a no-no by the way, that just tells the prospect that you're out for yourself trying to do a deal. You're not really there to help them. Okay, you're already asking for a referral and they don't even know you. Okay, um, a lot of agents either go that route or they just get off the phone quick. Okay, so when you hear no, when they say they're not interested or they're not gonna do anything, that's when we use this little line to, to ease into getting the email address and establishing that lifelong relationship. When they say no, we say, I got you, well look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? This is key, because it establishes, do they have an agent, a relationship with an agent already? Okay, because you don't ever know. Their mom might be an agent, their brother, you don't know. And if not, then the door's open for you to begin this relationship. So if they answer that question and say, no, we don't have an agent around here, or if they say something like, well, you know, we've talked to a few, but we're not committed to anybody, say, okay, cool, well look, I'm sure at some point in the future, you're gonna wanna buy or sell. I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be all right if I just stayed in touch with you? See how low pressure that is? See how low key it is? See how friendly it is? We wanna talk to them with what I call the FE effect. Okay, FE is friend or family effect. We wanna make them feel like they're a friend or family because we're treating them like friend or family. And at this point, when you ask that question, you say, I got you, well look, I'm sure at some point in the future, you're gonna wanna buy or sell something. I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? See, that question is not asking for anything private. 
You're not really going, you know, intruding on them in any kind of way. So they're thinking in their mind, sure, you sound friendly. You can stay in touch with me. Absolutely. You know, they're thinking they're probably, we're going to send them postcards. We're going to call them from time to time. You know, I don't know what they're thinking, but they're not thinking anything, you know, intrusive at this point. So they're going to say, if you make it this far in the conversation, they're going to say, yes, of course you can stay in touch with me. And that's when, after they commit to that, that's when you say, I got you. Well, look, what's your email address? That's how I stay in touch with people. Okay, so that's how you do it. You follow the script. You do it exactly the way I have it laid out for you. And then you ask for the email address. Now, a couple things I don't want you to do. I don't want you to say, I'm going to put you on my you know, weekly email list. I don't want you to say, can I start sending you reports? Can I start doing this? Can I start doing that? Um, whatever the case may be, I want you to stay, say, I want to stay in touch with you. You know, what's your email? I want to stay in touch with you. If they say, no, I don't think so, say, listen, I understand what you I understand, but here's the deal. I'm not going to spam you or anything like that. I just want the opportunity to stay in touch with you. And that's how I do it through email. No big deal. So if they, if they deny you the first time around, if you made it that far and they deny you, you know, try to use that, you know, try to handle that objection. This is one objection that I'm okay with you guys handling to try to get that email address. And then once you have the email address, this is a real client. This is a real email address. This is everything about this is 110% real. Okay. It's somebody you've talked to. Okay. They've heard your voice. You get along. They, they thought you were nice enough and trustworthy enough to give you their email address. This is real. Okay. This isn't an internet lead that you got, you know, an automatic lead from somewhere. You know, this isn't, you know, email that you bought. This is, this is, this is somebody you talked to and your personalities matched up in such a way that they trusted you enough to give you their email address. Okay. That's powerful. And that's how I've developed my database. And that's why I've had so much success out of my email databases because it's such high quality because I've actually talked to every single one of them. Then they start getting this weekly email and they start to realize this guy is the real deal. Okay. He's so consistent. He's the hardest working, working agent I know. Okay. He's knowledgeable. He sends me all the best information and it doesn't look like anybody else's email. I hope this helps you uh, with getting property owners email addresses and you can see the, the strategy behind what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. And it's a short and long-term play. I mean, you know, you, you do get business now, but most of the people you talk to are going to do business later. But here's the thing, you're talking to them anyway. Why not capture them for that deal later? Because when that deal does come around, you're going to be glad you did. And when you get to a point where you're doing 100 deals a year for the last five years straight, you're really going to be glad you did. So like I said, I hope that really helps you. Um, if there's anything I can do for you, if you have any questions, just hit them up in the comments below. I answer every single comment. And I'm here if there's anything in the world I could do for you guys. We'll talk to you soon. I'm